All you can see now is a dark green rectangle, but underneath is the Christian symbol of the fish. The design was part of attorney Bill Allen's ads on some of the RTS buses in Gainesville. They're big vinyl ads that cover almost the entire bus, but it was the small fish on the back that became an issue. RTS has a list of things that they don't allow on their buses. One of them is religious symbols, but it's also things like alcohol and drugs or political advertisements. According to city advertising policies, the fish would have been taken off of the ad if it was part of the original design. But we would have caught that because that's something that we are used to looking for in certain situations like that, where something minor may you know, create a, a complaint or something. RTS approved one version of the ad, and then the design was sent to a printer in Jacksonville. By the time the ad was on the buses, it had changed to include the fish. In this particular case, some edits were made through a third-party vendor that we were not aware of until a, a local citizen had uh, sent an email to us. Now, the symbol's covered up. RTS is simply following the city's rules, but some people we talked to say this could be a First Amendment issue. I think they should be able to have it on there because it's going against the constitutional rights of being the freedom of press. We couldn't reach Bill Allen to comment for our story, but RTS says from now on, they're going to make sure they know about any changes. But ultimately, it was getting in contact with these graphic designers that we work with on a regular basis and making sure that any edits that are done last minute are run through that us. Austin Landis, WUFT News. RTS says in the future it wants every design change reported, even something as simple as a phone number.